What's up everybody and welcome. If you are here to learn more about the Metro Monger from Green Room 136 and whether it's the right bag for you, good news, you're in the right place. Let's get started. All right, so here we are. We're going to talk about the Metro Monger and this is the Metro Monger Prime from Green Room 136 that we're gonna be talking about. It's an amazing bag. I think you're really gonna love it. If you're curious about the bag, I think this video is gonna answer all of your questions. I'm gonna give you two things that I love about this bag, two things that I wish were different about this bag, and an overall evaluation at the end of the video, should you buy this bag? All right, so let's dive right in. Here at Wander EDC, we do one take reviews, which means there's no cuts, there's no uh, wonkiness. You're just gonna see from the top of my head, what do I think about this bag that I've spent a lot of time with? What do I think you need to know about this bag? So I've been using this bag as my everyday carry bag for about four months now. And I feel really, really well qualified to share the uh, best parts of this bag, the things that you need to know, and uh, the things that you want to see. So we're going to jump right in uh, with the front of the bag. You can see this is a, a multicam black, and it is um, beautiful ripstop fabric, um, and you've got a couple of exterior features to know about. You can use these straps down here on the bag to carry an item like an umbrella or a jacket. You can also cinch up and tighten uh, the bag with those straps. Um, I don't use them a ton. Uh, nice to know that they are there if I needed to carry something. So you have a little Velcro strip for some morale patches. You can see I've got my uh, Mandalorian one and the keep calm and carry on patch. You've got uh, some other little attachment points here, some uh, Molly uh, strips over here on the side. I've got uh, some sanitizer and I have a um, little lightning connector that I've always enjoyed carrying on my Molly strips. Uh, that's on both sides. Um, and we'll talk in a little bit here about some pouches that are also available from Green Room 136 that you might want to know about or might be curious about. All right, so you have three main sections of this bag. The first section is up front here. And you can see inside this section, first off, you can see this incredible high contrast golden interior. This is the Metro Monger Prime, um, and this colorway is really great. Um, so what do you have in here? You have uh, an administrative pocket, an admin pocket, uh, with uh, two kind of smaller pen or pencil sized uh, compartments. I've got a pocket knife, a flashlight, and my Apple Pencil in there. Then you have two larger sections. Um, I keep a uh, Sharpie and I've got my AirPods in there. Um, you can just take my word for it. Um, and then um, a small wallet in the other one. So you also have extra space down here that you can use to carry a, a lot of different things. Um, I've got um, just some, some knickknacks in there. All right, you also have a key attachment loop. I don't really use those. I don't uh, keep my keys in my bag. I keep them uh, on my belt loop with a carabiner, but uh, this is here. There is no stretch to it. Um, it is just uh, one uh, attachment point. So that's the first pouch. Um, no complaints, no issues. Love it. Use it all the time. Your second compartment is the main compartment of this bag. So we'll open that up and you can see the zippers go both ways. And you've got a ton of room in this part of the bag, a ton of room. So first off, you have two pouches or pockets up front. Um, I've got a DJI pocket in there and then my cords and power brick in there. Um, holds a lot, no real issues with space. Then you've got a main compartment section. I've got a battery backup in there, AirPod Mac, Max in there. Um, so you can see pretty roomy in there, tons of space down in the bag. Um, and then you've got Kind of a folder section. I've got a Kindle in that section. Um, you could very comfortably, oh, and I've got a little game device in there as well. So you could very comfortably put um, even a tablet in there, a secondary tablet, 
um, <clears throat> some letters, a folder, a notebook would fit in there uh, with no issue at all. You do have um, a 10th anniversary uh, logo, really discreet, hidden on the inside. What you may be wondering is uh, water bottles. Uh, I don't carry one, but if I did, you could put one very easily in this section of the bag. Uh, of course, then you'd have to worry about uh, leaking and that kind of stuff. There isn't really a waterproof compartment to this bag, but you could use the, the molly panels on the outside to attach a water bottle pocket if you were so moved. <clears throat> All right, now let's talk about the back pocket, which is uh, the tablet pocket. You've got a really nice corduroy soft touch interior in this section. And you can see that the iPad Pro, this is an 11.9 inch iPad Pro with a magic keyboard case, fits like a dream, like it was built for it. Now, what does not fit like a dream is a 13 inch laptop. So I can get the 13 inch laptop into the Metro Monger, but zipping it is, so is it possible? Yes, but man, it you can see the exposed corner here. It barely fits, and I would not carry it, and I think it would actually hurt the durability and lifespan of the bag to squeeze something in that tightly and work the zippers over it constantly. So I wouldn't recommend it. It's more of a smaller 11-inch laptop bag or certainly an iPad bag, which is what I use it for. Should also call out, you have a couple of attachment points on the back and a really, really comfortable uh, back panel here that presses up against your back. It's really nice. The strap itself, you have a couple of options in terms of what kind of buckle you want. And using it is a dream. You can get a uh, really nice metal Cobra buckle. Um, I've had no issues with wearing this bag comfortably. Slings right on, slings right off, swings around with no issue. When it does swing around, you have full access to your bag. So, as promised, great bag, you could tell, right? Incredibly insane build quality, um, a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. So, what do you need to know? Two things that I love, two things that I don't love as much, and should you buy this bag? Okay, let's start with what I love first. So, the first thing I love, the colorway. This high contrast interior is, I mean, it's sick, it's great. I highly recommend it. It, it feels high quality um, and it, it's just gorgeous to look at. Never have a problem finding my gear, love it. Um, this golden color in particular is great. They've got some other colorways you can check out on their website, um, but this is my favorite by far. It's really, really great. What else do I love? The second thing that I love is the build quality. Um, this is a smaller maker than some of the other brands that are out there. And I mean, it, it's just fantastic. It's built like a tank. The size is great. The stitching is just impeccable. Everything, the, the YKK zippers are high quality. The buckles are high quality. The material is high quality. Uh, it, it's incredible. Like the probably the best build quality that I've ever had on a, on a sling like this. So it's gonna last for years and there's a lot of kind of repair options if there is anything wrong with the bag. But using it for four months, no blemishes, no stains, no tears, no loose strings. Honestly, it, it's, it's been great. Um, so those are two things that I really love about the bag. Two things that I don't love as much about the bag. The first one, these two pockets right here. I, I just, I wish that they had some elastic to them or that they had a zipper or that they were closable. So when you are slinging this bag around, if what you have like these DJI pockets don't, if it doesn't fit tightly in there, sometimes this stuff because of the amount of space in this compartment will fall out of these two pockets. I'm nitpicking. I gotta find two things, that's one of them. I would make it elastic, I would put a snap, a buckle, even a hook and loop closure, that would help. It's not a deal breaker. It's not something that should make you not want to buy this bag, 
maybe it's improvement that they can make to the next round. So one more thing that I didn't love about this bag. I feel bad even saying this. It's not even about the bag, it's the website. If you've ever tried to buy anything off of this website, the maker is in Malaysia and the website is, it's pretty confusing. There's a lot of options. It's a little hard to navigate. Um, and, and when I bought this bag, it triggered the fraud alert detection on my bank account um, and, and actually shut down my debit card for a, a day. And so it, you're, you're making an international purchase. Um, there may be some uh, small inconveniences in that process, but I gotta say, look at me, I'm hugging this thing. I love this bag and I, I wouldn't trade it, even though it was a little difficult to get, wouldn't trade it for the universe. Um, I think it's great. It's my favorite bag currently. I'm gonna keep using it, uh, except when I'm reviewing other bags. So should you buy it? 100% yes. What are you waiting for? Click the link. It's not an affiliate link. They don't have an affiliate program. Click the link, buy the bag. It's really fantastic. Like it's that good. They have another uh, bag called the Metro Runner that you may be interested in as well. It's a little smaller, more the size of the uh, Chrome Cadet sling bag. Um, this is the larger version, the Metro Monger, and this is the Metro Monger Prime. Again, I'll link directly to it, to their webpage, support the creator, follow them on Instagram, do all the things. So I mentioned um, some attachments to this bag. This is a uh, hook and loop compatible for hook and loop accessories. And, Met and Green Room 136 sells some different attachment in the same incredible high quality as the bag. They match beautifully. I don't recommend you buy them. And here's why. You have on the back here, just some hook and loop Velcro. Makes me super nervous about them falling off the bag. It's just one little Velcro tab. And as well built as everything else is, that's just flimsy, it's a problem. And they flap around when you attach them onto the bag because the straps don't quite match the amount of space on the hook and loop. They flap around, which makes me even more worried that it's just gonna pop off. They're usable bags. They're really nice. I'm using them elsewhere. I've got them in my truck right now on a hook and loop panel where I'm not worried about them falling off. And if they do fall off, they just fall down in my truck, so no issue. So I'm using them. I like the bags. I just wish that it was a little bit more robustly built on the closure. So what am I using instead? A super cheap multicam bag with a snap closure that I got off Amazon for like 10 bucks. So these will set you back like a hundred bucks, believe it or not, because they're handmade. They're really insane build quality. This is cheaper, the fabric isn't as good, um, but it costs you 10 bucks and the closure and the attachment point to the bag is what you really need and it's more robust. So there you have it. That's our one take review of the Metro Monger by Green Room 136. I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you buy the bag because you will not be disappointed. Um, I, I, I will tell you my honest opinion on everything we review on this channel, and this is a must purchase if you have the money to do it. So thank you everyone, I hope you enjoyed. Please hit the like button, subscribe for more content like this, and we'll keep checking out gear together. Thanks everybody, we'll see you next time.